Charles, it's great to see you again. Why did you set Supermicro up in Silicon Valley? What was your thinking of establishing Supermicro there? In Silicon Valley, there are so many technology leaders, hardware, software, application. So I'm very happy to talk to all our leaders and optimize the solution for our potential customer. I strongly believe we can design, manufacture something better better performance, faster technology, time to market, and a better quality. Supermicro has grown in, from Silicon Valley to be a huge multi-billion dollar organization. Who are some of your customers today and who do you see being your customers of the future? Before, we have most of the customers from high tech. Now, we extend our market to uh, other territory. For example, like a large cloud service, uh, 5G, telco, and financing, HPC. We are growing our market share very uh, quickly now. Tell me a little bit about how you're doing that. You know, our products are greener. Our products consume less power. With billion bulk solution, we are able to design products faster than others. Some customers want better uh, computing power. Some customers need uh, more memory bandwidth. We have a billion bulk solution to uh, exactly optimize for customers' workload. Lots of uh, subsystems interchangeable. We don't have to prepare lots of spare parts for them. And that makes service much faster, much lower cost. So they use our product, indeed, not just better performance, but in lots of cases, indeed, it's cheaper. What would you like to say to investors? What, would you, what message do you want to kind of leave the investors with? So when there's a new technology, we just have to design certain subsystem only. And then we leverage other ready-to-go system and make a complete optimized solution much faster than others. That lower our design cost, lower our production effort, simplify our inventory, and make our on-site service much easier, much lower cost. Uh, recently, we uh, expand our operation to Taiwan. So now we have a much higher capacity offshore as well. So we are able to support many more customers. We are ready to grow much faster now. You know, a good product speaks for themselves. So today we have a customer everywhere around the world. So Charles, you've mentioned the, the green computing agenda that Supermicro drives. Why, as the CEO, do you see that as being so important? And how does Supermicro kind of set itself apart from competitors when it comes to the green agenda? People need more server, more equipment. And in turn, it consumes more power. And so, so how can we help people enjoy new technology, better technology, smarter technology, like AI, while we don't hurt our only mother Earth too much? The solution is green computing. Each system consumes less power. And we are very lucky. We prove it's achievable. So, I mean, they got a better product, save money, and we together make less pollution to our only mother earth. That has been my passion in the last 15 years. And, and, and always I feel I'm very lucky, able to find a team to do something so meaningful. Obviously the trends around 5G, AI and machine learning are accelerating. How is Supermicro poised to take advantage of those kind of emerging technologies? Again, I hope you for a solution. Quicker for design, quicker for the time to market, easier for manufacture, easier for inventory, easier for deploy for customer. That's why, I mean, we work with all our AI chip company and co-develop the system and deploy their system to the world uh, earlier than others. It sounds like an unbeatable combination, green computing, lower cost, better design, better quality. Thank you. Thank you for the chance to uh, share my vision with the market. Learn more at partners.wsj.com/supermicro/made in Silicon Valley. Powered by Intel.